Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Today is date August 27th, 2013. Russia warns of catastrophic consequences if Syria hit. Russia and China have stepped up their warnings against military intervention in Syria, with Moscow saying any such action would have catastrophic consequences for the region. Now, the U.S. and its allies are considering launching strikes on Syria in response to an alleged deadly attack last week. The United States said there was undeniable proof of a chemical attack on Monday. Now, where have we heard that from before? You know, remember weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and come to find out that was all fake and made up. And it's also looking like this whole ordeal here over in Syria is a false flag event and made up. Now, let's jump on down here where it says attempts to bypass the Security Council once again to create artificial groundless excuses for military intervention in the region are fought with new suffering in Syria and catastrophic consequences for other countries of the Middle East and North Africa was said by F Russian Foreign Minister Alexander and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name right there guys so the Russian Foreign Minister said that any attempts to bypass Security, security Council uh, will be met with catastrophic consequences so China and Russia chiming in on the situation over in the Middle East. Guys, this whole thing is going to boil out of uh, control over there uh, as the uh, United States once again is talking about going in and bombing and invading a country that hasn't done anything wrong. Uh, there's just total mounting evidence that that whole soaring gas thing was uh, a sham. Uh, just total mounting evidence and once again, the uh, hijacked United States government is sticking their noses where, again, it doesn't belong. Uh, guys, it's just not working out here. We are definitely living in the last days. What do I mean by that when I say that? I don't mean the world is going to blow up uh, and, and cease to exist. What I mean is we're living in the last days of man running things here on this planet. It just hasn't worked, has it? Think about your history, guys, wherever you are watching this video. Has it worked with man running this world? No. That's why Jesus is going to come back and run the world for a thousand years to prove that he can and we can't. I mean, aren't you guys tired of all the high gas prices, the utility companies raising your, your rates every month, uh, the rich always constantly getting over on the poor? I mean, it's just not working out. That's why Jesus is going to come back and run the world and things will be much better then. That's what I mean by we're living in the last days. We're living in the last days of mankind running things on this world because it just isn't working and it will never work. And there will never be real true peace in this world until Jesus Christ come back. So I'm going to ask you this question real quick. Are you saved? Because if you're not, now's the time to do it. Get saved. Get yourself right. So whenever Jesus does return, there will be no spots or blemishes found on you. The only way to get saved, guys, is we must repent of our sins. The Bible says God commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Acts 17.30 Jesus said, except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. Luke 13.3 now, we must receive Christ into our hearts and live in our lives as our Savior so we can live righteously according to the way he wants us to live. And real quick, guys, before I wrap this up, the things over there in the Middle East aren't going to get any better. And uh, this will likely lead to World War III if it does get out of hand. So again, guys, are you saved? If not, pray this prayer with me real quick. Jesus, I am willing to repent of my sins and receive you as my Savior. I believe you died on the cross for me and rose again after three days. I want you to be in charge of my life. Thank you, God, for making me a new creature. Say that prayer and believe it with all your heart, guys. And change your life around. Turn from sin and don't return back to it. Thanks for watching. God bless.